Now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure we all use phones made in China. You know, we all use uh, cameras made in China. We all use computers made in China. Whatever. Everything is made in China. But what is not made in China so far are planes. You know, we either have Boeing, Airbus, or Bombardier, or Embraer. All these are either European or American in some way. We haven't had China to enter that market just yet. But we'll be able to see that very soon, everybody, because of the new Comac 9 Nine. Yes, everybody, the Chinese are bringing out an airliner and we can finally fly it now in the Flight Simulator X-Plane. Yes, and it's free. Look, it costs zero monies. It came out 50 minutes ago. And really, I've been wanting to fly this plane for a while now here in the X-Plane Flight Simulator. Actually, the photos do look very nice, as you can see right here. The developer also apparently is Chinese, I guess. So let's give it a bit of a shot. And actually, it's not that brilliant, as you can already see. Maybe you also see, well, are Chinese airliners the future? You know, what, would you ever dare to fly on one? I don't know. Anyways, maybe check out the cockpit before we do anything else. Now, what you might notice is that this looks like the A320. In general, this plane looks like the A320, but with a rather weird nose. That's what the Comac looks like in real life. The nose is a little bit odd, but it can, you know, very much just be... If you had someone who didn't really know a lot of airplanes, like a Bombard AC series or an A320-1 or something, definitely what is clear about the C919 by Comac is that they're really not reinventing the wheel, are they? No, this plane does not have any technical crazy stuff. This is what the cockpit by the way, would look like in real life. We do have a joystick here. Relatively nice and easy cockpit. Reminds me also very much of the A220 Bombardier C series, if I'm being honest. I am wondering though, why, 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 why did they choose an A320 cockpit for this model here in the flight simulator? Anyway, that's what the cockpit looks like. Very nice and modern, I guess. What is really the deal breaker about this plane is that this plane is made in China. And I guess made for cheaper, which is actually why Reiner has already showed its interest in this plane. Why is this so pixelated? Yes, Reiner actually wants to buy the plane as well once it actually reaches European market. Now, would I dare to fly on this plane? Probably, yeah, I guess. Nothing wrong to see here. I guess this plane doesn't fly for any airline just yet. It hasn't gone into production, but the re most recent news right here is that um, uh, the plane is getting certified, right? Right, and it's supposed to be delivered to launch customer China Eastern Airlines very soon, apparently. Yeah, they are planning on delivering their first aeroplanes this year. So let's give it a little bit of a test here in the flight simulator. Now this is, actually I'm a little bit disappointed by this Comac model, if I'm being honest. A few years ago, I remember actually trying out a model in FSX. That wasn't ultra brilliant either, but at least a little bit better than this miserable piece of scrap metal. I mean, can you hear that? My God. The engine noise, and you can see through the windows. I mean, this is a free model, and I very much appreciate the fact that we at least have something that can be called and considered a C919. Actually, I hate that name, C919. How do you even pronounce that? Like, aircraft names are supposed to be short and fast and easy. Like, A320, 737, but C919, that is like multiple syllables. Deal breaker for me. You know what I mean? Honestly, now, put the landing gear up. Oh, the animation isn't very impressive. Great one, but everybody, what I can see is that this plane flies quite magnificently. All right, let's maybe do some more uh, flight testing here. Chinese airliner. Right, this is regular procedure in order to be Swiss as one approved, an aircraft must undergo very specific testing. Short runway testing, very much, yeah. How does the Chinese, okay, I do doubt that this plane is physically accurate in any way. But how does a Chinese plane cope with La Mole Airport? This is very random. Anyway, I mean, really, there's not much to talk about when it comes to the plane in real life. It's not got any crazy features. It's basically an A321, but made in China and a bit of a new design. Let's come in for a bit of a landing. Now, I'm really still wondering, would I ever step a foot on board this plane. I mean, it's not like Boeing <laughs> or Airbus in any way has been perfect recently. You know what I mean? Like, you can't really trust anyone out here. Let's go for a bit of landing you now. All right, that's been, that's been not too good. Come on, let's stop now. Can we please do that? I mean, by the way, I kind of hate how the plane is not really touching the runway completely. And I hate that it's not really stopping. I'm going full reverse. There's no reverse thrust! But 
That has worked. Barely. Yes. All right, so first flight test here with the Comac C919. I still hate that name. How are you supposed to pronounce it? Like 919, 919? 919 does kind of work. Never mind, 919. Anyway, that's been a nice landing. Okay, that's uh, that's good. By the way, yeah, this, the landing here still doesn't touch the runway, but there we go. Flying actually isn't all that bad on board this plane. Now, buddy, let's go back to this main point of this plane, and that is, I guess, the pricing. Because again, made in China, of course, production in, in China is more, of, of, I guess, cheaper. I mean, right, of course, iPhones are not made in the USA exactly for that reason. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. Now, this plane would normally cost, or it would have been expected to cost, $50 million which is half as cheap as like a 737, which is even at around, you know, $121 million here. Where A320 costs $110 million as of January 2018. The thing is though, the C919 turned out to be twice as expensive at $99 million, which is a shame. This is, a, this is a very long article here. Price is higher than expected. Or this plane turns out to be not that much cheaper after all. I mean, $20 million. But honestly, at the same time, I wouldn't want to be that airline that flies a Chinese plane in Europe. You know what I mean? Which is like also going to be like a 20 million loss. This is not great. Let me put that to a takeoff here while we're at it. Full power into these engines. Now, this is quite interesting. The engines that this plane actually uses are CFM engines, right? These are not Chinese engines. Actually, most of the parts that are used on board the Comac C919, right? That's why I pronounce it. Most of these parts are actually not really from China. So maybe try to take out... Oh, the nose landing gear is already up. And I've, I've got some horrible FPS. I hope that's... That's gonna be better in China, but there we go. That was a very quick takeoff. A little bit of a too quick of a takeoff, I'm being honest. Yeah, I do kind of doubt the realism of this plane a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, let me just say the Comac C919. A bit of a disappointment, really. Now, the thing is, the Chinese airliner market, when it comes to, you know, the profitability of this whole C919 project, the market is so big that, you know, all these Chinese airlines, when they buy the Comac, can already sort out the plane quite well and take care of production. So, you know, China really only needs itself for the beginning. That's another thing. You know, China's a huge country and a huge market. So this is going to be, this is going to be really interesting. Or rather with this atom, there are still some problems to be solved, such as landing your animation or data correction, whatever. The fact that this is literally an A320 cockpit. And we're somewhere on a lake now. That is a little bit unexpected. Great one! Now, what do I see here in the future of this plane? Yeah, I can see, you know, if they reduce the price indeed, then I can... I mean... That's pretty much its all whole selling point. It's not much better than the Airbus or Boeing, but it can, I guess, be cheaper. And that's pretty much all that is to say, literally. But right now it isn't cheaper, so that I cannot see a future right now, but I don't know. This add-on though, it's nice to have one really here in the flight similar X-Plane. Have a little bit of an insight of what might be flying around even in the European skies and American skies in the future. But uh, not, not, not great. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.